Hi Pisces, I'm Brenda and I'm here again today to bring you your weekly angel tarot card reading for the week of April the 18th to the 25th, 2016. Thank you for your interest in my channel and for viewing, liking and sharing these videos with your family members and friends. Welcome to all the new people requesting greetings with me to my circle and blessings to all my return clients. As you know, this is strictly a general reading. Every single card for every single day of the week does not apply to every single person on the planet. If you need accuracy, clarity and answers to your questions, I welcome and invite you to my website. And that is www.brendataro.info. Dot info. See you soon, Pisces. We start our week on Monday, Pisces, with an Earth card, and you have been given the Ten of Earth. Earth cards have to do with the material part of our lives, and they can also, you know, with our jobs and how we bring that currency into our, our, our lives and our homes, and also about Mother Earth and our closest circle, which is our family. This is telling me that it is a very happy time for some of you in your circle, in your family life. And also they show me that for some, you have financial security as well. But you need to find the magic in the little things now. You have accomplished great accomplishments. So sit back and smile and enjoy those little things again. Queen of Air for Tuesday. Air cards have to do with the justice and making fair and just decisions uh, for all concerned. It can also have to do with the legal system and dealing with lawyers and things like that. This is a queen of air, and she makes objective decisions. She's very objective about when she makes them, and this is what they want you to do. Make decisions objectively. You're going to be clearing out what doesn't serve you anymore. That can be actual physical things. That can be situations in your life. That can be people around you. But when you do that, see the humor in it, because it's going to be like you're going to sit back and smile and say, well, that wasn't so hard. Why didn't I do this a long time ago? Wednesday, crowning your air, Pisces, you've been given another Earth card, and this is the Two of Earth. So this is telling me that there's a there's really a lot of a lot of stuff going on around your life right now, and it's all at once. You need to make a decision. They're telling me, and uh, you need to consider when you make this decision that you've been procrastinating to do it in a playful manner, approach it in a lighter manner. Don't make this decision snap decision, and don't. Uh, don't go in there uh, aggressively with it. On Thursday, you've been given a fire card. You've been given the page of fire. Fire cards have to do with self-development, sometimes risk-taking, adventure, putting our passions and our thoughts into motion. There's some endeavor coming into to you this week, some of you this week. This card's been coming up in other readings as well. They refer to this news as, ex as, a, as an exciting endeavor. You are going to be able to use your own ingenuity and your own originality when it comes into you. Back to back, another fire card. This, my friend, is the king of fire. So this event is going to come in quite fast, this, this exciting new endeavor, uh, just like this knight who charges in on his horse. So it's going to need immediate attention when it comes in. But the only caution here is that you think things through carefully when it arrives. Wonderful card, Pisces the wheel. You can't get much better than that card in a reading. This is all about uh, a time of positive change in your life and taking chances and being inspired. This is a card of good luck. I mean, good karma, good everything. The Midas Touch card, fortune's on your side. Uh, it tells me that a situation is moving forward now for some of you. It's a great card. Uh, it's enabling you now to uh, have any blockages that have stopped you from manifesting your goals. Nine of Water for Sunday. Beautiful water card. Uh, water cards have to do with relationships, often intimate and romantic, but sometimes not. But this is the romantic card. This is the Nine of Water that tells me your wish comes true. All your concerns now for those that are in a relationship that have been worried about this relationship and where it's going, know that those concerns now can just go by the wayside and fade away. This is definitely a happy card for those and their love life. Now, at the end of the reading, I did incorporate that one oracle card and I chose the Ascended Master's Angel cards. And they gave you this, my friend. 
Pisces, choose peace. Can't say much more than that. None of us want chaos, and none of us want that uh, that horrible feeling of uh, injustice coming into our lives and the drama that others drag into our circle. So, my friend, stand in the circle of light or that box of mirrors and reject all of that and deflect all of that negativity and drama away from you because, my friend, it's so much nicer to choose peace. I wish you a great remainder today, Pisces, and a wonderful optimistic week to look forward to. Swim in your peaceful waters, my friend. Again, I leave you with another quote. And the quote I chose today is, Be happy, not because everything is good in your life, but because you can see the good in everything you have. See you again next week, my friend. And know that I continue to always stand in the circle of light for you.